Good afternoon Avengers and welcome here to Avenger Park. It's, it's a typical Melbourne day, it's raining one minute, it's sunny the next and we are very excited for this huge semi-final clash here against the Oakley Cannons. Two teams, two very, very good teams playing football today. One undefeated for 17 games, that being Oakley, while Avengers have proved themselves to be the team to beat this season all year round. The last time Oakley were defeated, it was against the Avengers here at this park in the first half of the season. Is that a good omen? I don't know. We just have to watch, wait and see. Alrighty, before the whistle, I'm here with Despina Donato. She's a little bit nervous, the first time on camera. Desi, it's a semi-final here at Avenger Park. We're all pretty excited. As a general manager, how do you feel the preparations have gone this week? Oh, look, you know what? We've got a really great volunteer team. Um, I've got, thank God, I've got Branson as well, because without him, I wouldn't be able to do everything that I do. Our volunteer team is a massive, massive help to the club, and sometimes I think they don't realise how much they help us. Um, and a massive, massive thank you to the boys who come and help us every Every day, Jamie, Div, Mako. Without them, the, we wouldn't be able to set up for today. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the football today. You excited? The boys, uh, you seen them at training this week. Is uh, what's the energy like? Is everyone excited? Everyone's really excited. They're pumped. They're hungry. They want to get this through so we can have another uh, grand, shot at the grand final this year. He's going to go. Well, I just heard the news that Chris Oldfield is out for the, uh, I think, first time I've seen him not in goal this season. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm not sure who the backup goalkeeper is, so could have an absolute blinder. Um, and look, Oakley are in hot form, so if they're going to be beaten, I think it'll be an outstanding performance. And I don't think we can do it. We've definitely got the capacity to do it, but it just comes down to on, on the day who, who plays the better 90 or 120 plus penalties minutes. Thank you, Will. Anytime. Alrighty, before the whistle, I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Towns. Thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. I mean, who are you related to and where have you come from? <laughs> um, Yitai Towns is obviously our son. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're, we're travelling around Australia at the moment. We've come down from Bundaberg to watch the match today, so we're hoping that he'll get on. I'm sure he'll get on, but um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're looking forward to the, to the match. It'll be a good match. Have you been watching uh, your son? via the MPL live streams. Have you seen the way he's been performing this year? Because he's had an absolute blinder of a season. Definitely. Yeah, we've been really thrilled that we've been able to watch him. Um, because because we're travelling, we can't fly to Melbourne as often to see him. So it's been really good. And yeah. Alrighty, before the whistle, I'm here with Aki, the General Manager of Football Operations of Oakley Cannons, or as Brown likes to call you, the head cannon. <laughs> Are you excited about today's matchup, my friend? Yeah, it's uh, looking, looking forward to a great game today. I think uh, you know, two great football teams uh, playing off for the grand final, so it'll be, I think it'll be a great game, entertaining game, and um, hopefully the weather holds off. How's the preparation been for, for your boys this week? Yeah, been been pretty good. I mean, look, been pretty consistent in the last 17 games. Um, hardly any note. We've had the same lineup uh, pretty much in 16, I think, out of 17 games. So pretty consistent, just low key. You know, just another week of training, and yeah, another big game today. Hello everybody and welcome to Avenger Park. It is semi-final day here in NPL Victoria and it is the Avengers getting ready to take on the Cannons which shapes to be an excellent game here in the Senol NPL Victoria final series. It's been an interesting encounter and so much on the line. And it is Avondale who kick off this the first of two big semi-finals today. You look at that with Ute Towns really sitting at the base as we stay with play at the moment as Yusuf Ahmed out wide to Stefan Zini. First chance to cut inside and fire. And he puts it well wide, but a little sider there from Stefan Zini. Bunch of Avengers near the near post. Boland flicks it on and it's found its way into the back of the net. Scott Hillier is the one with the celebration and the set piece routine works and Avondale take the lead here at Avenger Park. Chris Taylor will be absolutely furious with that one. There's no organisation off the set piece. That's not the goal that you usually see Oakley concede. It's not the goal you usually see Avondale score, but they will take it. Beautiful delivery in with the left foot of James Riccobene. Flick on at Scott Helia. Right place, right time. Ahmed lets it run. Now Bolin, can he find his left foot? 
Little reverse pass. Yusuf Ahmed out wide. Saved by Honos. And Oakley get it clear. Hughes have been such great servants as Rika Bene is into the box now. Nobody could touch him. Cuts it back. Honos makes the save. Zini back and Lundy into the dangerous area. No one could get a touch. It's going to be Boland. Fires it up from long distance. It's always difficult when it bounces in front of the keeper. Ball's cut back. Nobody there for the tap in. Adjusting to the wind, but this is a good pass for Katabian. Boland into the box. Cuts it back. Gumano. We know how good he is from this range. Tries to curl it. Honos watches it go over the top. To his on-rushing midfielders. Valentini's run inside, allowed the space for Lundy to cross to Boland. Oh, you would have put your house on him, Liam Boland, from that range. Gumano, space forward. And now Katabian as Boland and Valentini get in the box. Going forward is Katabian, cuts it back. And coming back was Pavlu to get it out for a corner. Tezuku Sakia leads the attack for Avondale and puts it into the path of Yusuf Ahmed. Trouble here for Matthews, it's Ahmed! And with the left foot, he flashes it wide. As it stands now, it will be Bullen and St. Albans if those games end the same way in that little playoff. That we played midweek, cross comes in, here's Valentini! Valentini gets the goal for Avondale, and that second goal now for the Avengers is probably going to see them into the grand final. Oakley just really haven't had any match in an attacking sense against the Avengers and Stefan Valentini was there in the right spot and buried the header from close range. Well, it's the two great mates who combine. Brandon Lundy, Stefan Valentini, the connection. It's paid off. Do the business against Bentley tonight, although. There we go. Well, there it is. It is full time here at Avenger Park and Avondale will get the opportunity to avenge their grand final defeat last year and they're the first side to book themselves into the Seno. NPL Victoria Grand Final next Sunday at 6pm.